Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings to Conclave as Scotland. In our last episode we took the County of Essex from the Duchess of Essex, which is pretty good. We are also trying to revoke the County of Athal from our other claimant to this duchy down here. And of course he wouldn't give it up without a fight, so we are fighting him. Uh, so we're going to go fight his army now, which is in the plains here. That's good. We'll uh, appoint commanders and let's go ahead and attack him, I think. After which we'll go back to sieging. We don't want to let him complete a siege. Also sieging his capital down here. Uh, after this, we might want to consider going to war again with the Fatimids. Or the Duchy of Aswan, I assume. Their revolt is somehow still going on, even though it was at 100% for a while. It's now 61% in favor of the Caliph. Okay. Weird. Maybe over by the time we declare war on him, but... Either way, I think we'll be able to beat him. Okay, so this is going to be a victory, worth 23% war score. And we are about to siege his capital as well. We won't capture him, but we could capture family members, which would be nice. We did not capture any family members, okay. Meanwhile, this outbreak of consumption is inching slowly further towards the capital. I have been corresponding regularly with my brother David and always make sure to see him whenever I get the chance. It's a harsh world and family must stick together. He's the Grand Master of the Knights Templar. It was good for him. So the Holy Roman Revolt is not succeeding. What is this about, anyway? War against the tyranny of Kaiser Velf the Wicked. Well, he may be tyrannical, but he is our friend. Well, he's a possessed lunatic drunkard who is also infirm, so... Maybe we should be careful about who we make friends with, but that's okay. Marjorie has eloped with the notorious notorious mercenary Swithelm. Okay. The lecherous spider. Has she though? He seems unmarried. Okay, Hebron has been converted. So we can move our chaplain. For example, here. Okay, the Kaiser has won. And our King of Galicia is happier. Which is good news. Um, we do have the Council Power Faction still, but... This is just the Prince Archbishop of Benevento and the Duchess of East Anglia, so you don't need to be worried about that. Alright, so Sweden has apparently put down their revolt. Kind of hoping he might die in battle. Uh, fortunately, his son hasn't managed to have any children yet, so we still only have to have him and the prince die before we can press the weak claim that we have. Uh, let's check on our Polish prince. Uh, no children yet. He is chased, remember, so that'd be a little difficult. Oh, I think... Uh, Mastermind Theologian, yeah, is a small fertility penalty as well. The ambition to become a counselor. Why didn't you take the ambition to have children? OK, 
Okay, we want another siege up there. We need a commander. Be the Duke of Cornwall. Why did we build up the fort level so much? I guess we didn't in the lower holdings. But I guess it's not going to take too long anyway. We probably should go fight his army again because he's actually successfully sieging us there. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is a little sooner than I was expecting. Uh, oh no, this is the Sunni Jihad for Jerusalem. Okay, so this is not the one that we are scared of. The great Sunni Caliph Mukhtar III has decided to call a jihad against the Kafirs in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. He urges all righteous Sunni Muslims to take up arms against the depraved Emperor Callum of Scotland for the glory of Islam. Two arms. Okay. Uh, so that was our wife dying, unfortunately, a natural death. Okay. Uh, let's get married again, then, for the stats, if nothing else. Also for some companionship in our advanced age. Can marry the Duchess. That would be good. Iceland, for example. Or Calabria would also be good. We could gain some more land down here in southern Italy. This is Calabria, or Calabria is here? So two counties down here we could potentially acquire. Um, I kind of would like to get Iceland though. Calabria is a much better character on the other hand. Yeah, I think we'll marry her. Not matrilineal. Thank you. Uh, we definitely don't need prestige, so we'll just gain a pretty substantial amount of gold. That seems good. One another siege, and the Knights of Santiago have offered to join our war. We'll accept. I guess we could have just raised them. In fact, we should probably go ahead and raise our other Holy Order. Uh, let's see, I assume we're not going to really have to worry about this. You are... seven or eight thousand. Like Tashi Order is another three thousand. Okay. We probably will be able to fight them off with just the troops we can raise down here. And also, of course, we have allies including the Kaiser and the Mansa of Mali in this war, so maybe they'll even take care of it. We have a new Grand Mayor, okay. Murray the Terrible. Alright, um, so he's a very intriguing character. Not a huge fan of me. We could appoint him as our Spymaster, potentially. Firing this Grand Master. Hmm. On the other hand, I don't think he's actually as well disposed towards us as this indicates because we're getting plus 40 for defending versus infidels. Though giving him a seat on the council would give him effectively plus 40. We'll leave things as they are for the moment. We'll see how things look. Maybe after this war. Young Mirren has finished her education in stewardship. I noticed with pride she's attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Good for her. Midas touched. Uh, she is better than our current steward, who is not a powerful vassal, so we could appoint her to the council. I think, if we can appoint women as stewards, we can. I don't think we really want to anger him unnecessarily, though. Let's unpause for a while so we can actually make progress on our sieges. Alright, Galicia. Had his opinion improved. 
I'm kind of just waiting to see how many troops actually show up down here before we raise any of our own. And I guess there's no harm in just preemptively raising them now. So we can raise Jerusalem's... Not boats. Sinai's and Alexandria's. And even however many we can get from our domain counties here. So 9,000 is, I think, about equal numbers to what the participants over here have. We'll probably need to transport a few more troops down from somewhere. And I guess from here would be fine. Alright, we might actually lose this siege. Unless we can just about get here in time. Which we can. Oh, we're already at 100% anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's enforce our demands. Take back our county. We're now one over our domain limit, so we should give away Essex, probably. To some worthy character. Who is not already a ruler. we can actually grant you land, so it has to be men. So, Oscar. Congratulations. Oh, and apparently our court chaplain was one of the uh, vassals in here. Need to appoint somebody else. I guess our kinsman Constantine. Although, actually, let's appoint uh, the Prince of Poland, since he has the ambition, as we saw, to become a counselor. And this might lead him to take the ambition to have children, which would improve his fertility. Maybe a bit of a stretch, but it could happen. He now just has no ambition, apparently. Okay. Oh, but he's already succeeded in converting that county. That was quick. Oh, he's here. Okay. Oh, we can't even move him yet. That's how quick he was. All right. Okay, they actually have about 12,000, so... You hired holy orders, I assume. Fair enough. Well, we have another 8,000 on the way. Let's also bring some from here. I think that's going to be more than enough. So the previous Sunni and Shia jihads happened uh, simultaneously, or at least concurrently. I don't remember which one ended sooner, but it should be around now that we can expect another jihad from the Fatimids as well. We also have a peasant revolt. Not what we need right now. Uh, let's disband. And we'll just use these troops up here. Alright, let's check on uh, the succession again. Um, they're actually tied now, so our problem is currently non-existent because we have Murray inheriting both titles, which is great, but it is pretty close in the vote for England. Uh, let me just try very quickly and see if I can get Roderick here killed. Just for safety's sake, because we are getting pretty old. Don't want to have any unfortunate mishaps. Alright, that might be a hundred. I wasn't really keeping track.
Um, Duke Harold the Cruel of Northumberland has been slain in battle. Okay. This guy is our courtier, though. Why did our men corner and slay him? Okay, so the kingdom title is now going to Roderick, so let's see if we can possibly succeed in this plot. Seems unlikely, okay. Uh, this can be disbanded now and we can end our peasant revolts. And execute, there we are. Uh, so did you lose your holy order? Maybe they did. Let's, uh... Actually, it'll be faster if we just go on the boats and land a couple of counties away over here. So we can fit in the supply limits here. This is desert, so I think we'll head here and fight this army first. Get our best commanders in charge. Oh, and we have died. That was kind of unexpected. So, let's see, we lost our court chaplain, that's fine. Uh, our defensive pact is disbanded, we died a natural death. Alright, so... Kingdom of England, what happened to it? Uh, we still have it, okay, great. Emperor Murray was apparently that day being voted into England, so no problem here. Let's see, we need to appoint a new court chaplain. Um, we can just reappoint the Prince of Poland, so I don't know why he got unappointed. I guess we'll do that. Uh, we do have a commander title to give out. He'll do just fine. Uh, we need to nominate a successor. We'll see who people vote for first. On the other hand, maybe people will sort of take their cues from us and... They'll be more likely to vote for the person that we vote for. I don't know if that's how it works, but we may as well try it. 25-year-old genius Constantine sounds like a good choice. Anyone else younger or more talented? Nope, Constantine it is. Sounds good. Uh, he is unmarried, so we should get him a wife, preferably a strong one, just in case he gets elected, though either way I guess he should have a wife. Pass on his genius genes. Sounds good. Uh, let's see, character focus or ambition first? Uh, let's see. We are over our domain size, so maybe getting some more stewardship would be a good idea, though two of those counties are down in Cairo, which we can just give away. Um, well, we could stand to prove our, improve our stewardship a bit, I suppose. So maybe we'll choose that anyway. We'll go for business. Uh, we haven't nominated successors for the Kingdom of England, okay. Let's vote for the same person. Our heir is getting married. We need an ambition. Which will be to groom an heir, I suppose. Gives us more fertility. Let's unpause for a second here. Alright, Constantine is currently being voted for, but... That may or may not last. Uh, we'll gain prestige here. We're doing more than okay for gold, and the prestige will improve vas vassal opinion. 
Okay, looks like Constantine is already back down to second place. In favor of Indulf of Jerusalem? Who's dull? Really? Okay, we won this battle while I wasn't paying attention. Sounds good. Uh, let's head up here and fight the other army. Okay, people are voting for Macbeth of Sicily. Uh, that's kind of okay too, I guess. He's strong. Alright, people are rejoining the defensive pact against us. That's fine, we're only at 16% threat, it's not a big deal. Gain some free tech points. Oh, here comes the Kaiser. Only about 6,000 troops, but he's actually got more headed down here. That's nice of him. In fact, this might be the best time for the Fatimans to declare their jihad. If the Kaiser already has armies down here. I kind of hope they do. Alright, so I don't know if we'll bother following. What are their supply limits like over here? Down to about 10k. Yeah, we'll just wait here and we'll let the Kaiser pursue his armies if he is so inclined. So let's see. Any factions? Well, the Jihad that we're defending against will actually protect us pretty well against factions for the time being, because it gives us uh, such a big opinion bonus with our vassals. I think we are going to have to get rid of these two counties, though. Norway offers to join our war, we'll accept. Um, we no longer have an alliance with the Kaiser, I think. So he is still temporarily in this war. Yeah, so he wouldn't even join the other war right now if it was to be declared, so... That is... Uh, unfortunate. But we should probably try to get another alliance with him if we can. Let's have a look. So he has plenty of children. He has an unmarried son. Do we have any unmarried relatives? We do. I don't think she'd give us uh, an alliance, though. How about a betrothal? So our zero-year-old daughter. Hmm. Well, we could arrange it. He has younger sons, though, I think, which might be more appropriate. Seven-year-old son. Would you accept this? He would. Matrilineally? Even matrilineally. Even better. Do it. Okay. Let's wait to hear back from him. So we should be able to get our alliance back, or maybe we have to wait until we're... No, we can do it right now. Okay. So now he would join any other wars that we get involved in. So uh, let's give away our two counties in Cairo. Um, actually, let's do that in the next episode because we are just about out of time for this one. So we'll leave it here for now. Thanks for watching and join me again then.